Released by Konami in 2003 on the PlayStation 2, Castlevania Lament of Innocence would establish the origins of Dracula and the Belmont clan for the main franchise timeline. Written and directed by Koji Igarashi, it would chronologically be the first game in the Castlevania mainline series. For story, the game features a knight named Leon Belmont who seeks to rescue his fiancée from the vampire Walter as it takes place before Castlevania III Dracula's Curse. For gameplay, the game is an action platformer, requiring the player to fight, jump, and climb their way through the innards of Castlevania. For combat, Leon's main weapon is the whip, though he may carry any one of five sub-weapons, each requiring hearts as the currency for their use. Money can be collected and spent in a shop for healing potions and consumable buffs, and Leon's whip can be upgraded by defeating optional bosses. By repeatedly using techniques correctly, Leon will learn additional maneuvers and advance fighting combos. Also, enemies do not reward experience, and increases to Leon's stats come in the form of discovered power-ups, so the emphasis is on exploration over combat. The story only gets larger from here, so let's cut it down to size with a recapitation. Set in the year 1094, among the many knights employed in the feudal war, there is one company of knights of exceptional strength, mainly due to two men. Leon Belmont, a peerless warrior, and Matthias Kronkvist, a genius and well-learned tactician. The two were old friends in an unbeatable partnership, but one day after another successful campaign, Matthias's wife suddenly passed away, crippling Matthias with grief. As a year passes, Leon still leads the company with a spotless record, but now strange monsters have suddenly appeared across the land. Seeking permission to engage, Leon is denied, as the church is more focused on the Crusades in the East and persecuting heathens in the home front. However, a bedridden Matthias states that the monsters are tied to a vampire hiding in a castle in a forest called the Eternal Night, and worse yet, Leon's fiancée Sarah has been kidnapped and taken there. Choosing his beloved over his status as a baron, he renounces his title and begins his mission. Dashing into the dangerous darkness, Leon feels his crossing over a strange threshold as he is soon met by a man named Ronaldo who thinks Leon is crazy for coming here and invites him to his cottage. Ronaldo is an alchemist who claims to have unfinished business with Walter, the master of his forest. He explains Walter is immortal, and for fun will hunt the hunters that enter this forest, and has Ronaldo aid the hunters to make the sport more interesting for him, though Walter has never lost. As it turns out, Walter is the vampire Leon is seeking, though Leon has left his sword with his company when he gave up his title, but knows the fallen hunters around here have weapons. Hearing this, Ronaldo tosses him a whip custom made with alchemy, and stronger than any normal blade. Leon is not familiar with alchemy, and Ronaldo explains that it's mostly experimental, and admits the only person who really understands it is Matthias, revealing he has known him longer than even Leon has. In fact, Matthias' family has a book of secret arts, which is also news to Leon, but chooses to trust an ally of Matthias and accepts the whip. Finally, Ronaldo then imbues Leon's gauntlet with the ability to absorb an enemy's magical power while blocking, and allows Leon to use that magical power with relics found in the castle. Before leaving to hunt Walter, Ronaldo informs Leon his throne is guarded by five monsters that must be defeated first. Finding the tedious trial tiresome, Ronaldo reminds him Walter has deliberately constructed this like a game. Approaching the intimidating keep, the magical layer Castlevania opens its doors to accept the knight, greeting him with grinning skeletons. Warming up against zombies and ghostly knights, Leon quickly learns to handle the whip, as the hordes quickly ramp up their aggression. Erupting from the arid earth, the fire elemental's fury fails to triumph against Leon's flicks and finesse. After gaining the power of fire with the alchemical whip, Leon grazes past the ground-pounding golem, and fervent fishmen fall to his fatal slashes. Beyond, a shapely ice elemental skates and stabs at the knight, who smoothly sends gouts of flame back to shatter her. Harnessing the power of ice now, Leon finds his greatest foe is himself, as a shadow slithers outwards, assembling into a perfect shadow clone. Clashing whips, Leon's experience and resourcefulness earns a victory, but rightfully so, his doppelganger is too stubborn to give up after one fight. Descending down the dismal depths of the Deadly Dungeon on a demented disc, Leon finds a mysterious man who introduces himself as Joachim and turns out to also be a vampire. Questioning why a vampire is imprisoned here, Joachim quickly curses Walter, claiming he would have won against him had Walter not had the Ebony Stone. Challenging Leon, Joachim encroaches with powerful blade sorcery, but it's no match against Leon's martial mastery. Shocked at his loss, Joachim agrees to share information with him, revealing the Ebony Stone is an alchemical creation that produces the eternal darkness of the forest that empowers only Walter, essentially making him unbeatable. Before disintegrating, Joachim laments how he wished he had something called the Crimson Stone. Thinking to ask Ronaldo about this, Ronaldo shares how in the pursuit to create the ultimate goal of alchemy, the Philosopher's Stone, which can grant eternal life, the other two stones were created accidentally. Apparently, the Crimson Stone turns the souls of vampires into power for its master, though if a human were to use it, it would turn them into a vampire as well. 
For a vampire, these two stones are their greatest treasures, but they were thought to be lost. Obviously, Walter has the Ebony Stone, so it stands to reason the Crimson Stone has surfaced as well. Treading towards the tenacious Thunder Elemental, Leon tackles a tremendous task with tireless temperament, gaining the Lightning Whip. Moving on, he's met by a massive Medusa head that casts her petrifying gaze towards him, inviting him to join her statue decor. As it defeats her, she remarks how unusually powerful Ronaldo's whip is, and wonders if it somehow gained its complete form, though it spits that it's still no match for Walter. Returning to Ronaldo to inquire further, he admits it is true there is a complete form for it, though only Leon has brought out its power so far, more so than even himself. However, he states the method to complete it is not achievable by normal means, and refuses to speak more about it, reminding Leon to go and defeat the final guardian. Exploring deeper and avoiding the falling ceiling turning him into a sandwich, Leon is in disbelief to find Sarah. Urging her to escape with him now, he turns to lead her out, but his sharp instincts have him dodging a backstab attempt. Mad at himself for thinking that it could ever be that easy, he sees the illusion of Sarah drop to reveal a succubus in disguise, mocking him before rushing in to kill him. Piercing past her persuasive illusions, the succubus falls, wishing she had fought him disguised as Sarah, just like she toyed with Ronaldo with his daughter. He collects the final orb from the last guardian, and returns to speak with Ronaldo, who reluctantly shares how five years ago, Walter turned his daughter into a vampire, who promptly turned to devour his wife and son. As his transformed daughter fled, Ronaldo then constructed his whip of alchemy, chased her down and killed her with it, then moving and failing to take revenge against Walter. Now, he resides in Walter's forest, and is keen to help anyone who wishes to fight him. After hearing this, Leon vows to carry Ronaldo's grief with him, and use it to strengthen his resolve to defeat Walter. Re-entering Castlevania again, the seal to Walter disappears as expected, and beyond, with a flash of purple lightning, Walter makes a timely entrance. Leon demands Sarah, and Walter casually reveals her, though with a spellbinding gaze, he brings Leon down to his knees with a mere suggestion. Resisting as best he can, Leon takes a swing at Walter, who deflects it easily, noting Ronaldo's whip is in play here. Leon is shocked the whip had absolutely no effect, and Walter mentions another knight confirming something. Surprisingly, Walter recognizes Leon's efforts making it this far, and allows him to take Sarah back, inviting Leon back to his throne room on the highest floor. Sarah comes too, but when they go back to see Ronaldo, she suddenly is halted by some magic. Ronaldo comes out and quickly tells Leon to step back as he checks her out. However, Ronaldo comes in, reminding Leon the vampire barrier around his cabin triggered in response to Sarah, but Leon refuses to accept it. Walter confirms the bite mark, and while the good news is that she hasn't turned yet, like his daughter, she will gradually degrade and lose her humanity. Her only hope is for Leon to defeat Walter before she turns completely, but Leon points out the whip did nothing against Walter just now. Ronaldo mentions there is a way to fix that, but doubts Leon will go through with it. Leon presses him for the solution, and Ronaldo grimly states Leon must kill Sarah and let her tainted blood be absorbed by the whip of alchemy. With the power of Walter's blood, the Whip will be able to strike and defeat the Vampire, but Leon is beside himself, as his whole reason for even being here was to rescue Sarah to begin with. Sarah overhears this and becomes frightened, but she admits she has no time left to find another way, as even she can feel herself growing colder as she transforms. She steps forward, insisting that if her soul can save others from the same fate, then she knows she won't die in vain. Ronaldo agrees with Sarah and urges Leon to find the resolve to sacrifice her. Heavy-hearted, Leon accepts Sarah's wish, and urges Ronaldo to complete the whip. As Ronaldo begins the Blood Covenant with Sarah's soul to imbue the whip with the power to slay vampires, he urges Leon to strike Sarah now. Sarah states she'll always be with him, and thanks him for the mercy, as Leon pierces her cleanly with one shot. As he releases his grief and gives burial to Sarah, Ronaldo shares that ritual was one of the forbidden secrets from Matthias' book. Teeming with power and a thirst for the destruction of the Children of the Night, the Whip of Alchemy is now the Vampire Killer Whip as Leon turns to keep his promise to Sarah and destroy Walter. Re-entering the castle, his doppelganger is there for a rematch, but nothing in its arsenal can imitate the fury of the vampire killer and the vengeful heart of Leon as he edges out a win and burns a shadow before him. Challenging the chained Forgotten One, Leon climbs the colossal foe to finally finish the fettered fiend. Ascending the red carpeted stairway to the throne room, Leon is greeted by awaiting Walter, who notes Leon must have enjoyed the gift he left him and Sarah with. Leon swallows his pain, but declares he now has the power to defeat Walter, and though the vampire proclaims being loved by the knight, Leon vows he will kill both him and the knight. With a single snap, Walter's wards are shattered, much to his surprise, and he deems it necessary to take this fight seriously now. Teleporting around and flinging massive pyroclastic explosions about, Walter keeps Leon moving with bursts of deadly magic biting his every step. Still, Leon earns his new title as a vampire hunter, 
taking down the once invincible Walter with the power gained from his victims. Walter staggers back, upset he was never able to obtain the Crimson Stone, but confident he'll resurrect with his power. However, suddenly appearing as the Warden of Death, the Grim Reaper, ripping out Walter's soul and offering it to the true king who wields the Crimson Stone. As the energy converges on the stone, it shatters and breaks, revealing behind the smoke to be Leon's friend and master alchemist, Matthias. He gives his regards to Leon, knowing he would be able to accomplish the task of taking down Walter. Ronaldo, Leon, and Walter all thought they were acting on their own, but it was him, Matthias, who had this planned all along. He reveals he is the possessor of the Crimson Stone, and responding to this, the vampire killer conveys to Leon that Matthias has also given up his humanity. With the power of Walter's soul and this stone, Matthias announces he has achieved his goal of eternal life as the ultimate revenge against God, who took away his beloved despite all the glory and victory they earned in his name. Defying God's decree of mortality, he intends to curse him for all eternity, and after what Leon has been through, he invites his friend to do the same. However, Leon turns down Matthias, pitying him, and saying this is not what Matthias' beloved wanted, as even though Leon also acted with hatred, it was Sarah's wish to prevent more victims that he was honoring. Now, proving his love for her, he cannot even think of an empty eternity without Sarah. Matthias is saddened that Leon turns him down, and bids his friend farewell for the last time, as dawn is coming. As the Master of the Crimson Stone, it also means Death swears allegiance to him, and as such, Matthias orders Death to deal with Leon. However, the minion's myriad of mortality-seeking attacks mean little to Leon, whose whip grants him the power to destroy all related to the vampires. Finding themselves at an impasse, Death shares he will continue to rise so long as his master still lives, and Leon opts to have him pass the message along. He states Matthias has become an unforgivable cursed being, and swears that his whip and his kinsmen will destroy him someday, vowing that the Belmont clan will henceforth hunt the night. As the game ends, death leaves in defeat, and the magic sustaining Castlevania drains, causing the building to collapse. As Leon hurries to escape, Ronaldo looks out from his cabin and is pleased to see the first rays of sunlight come out, proof of Leon's victory. As the sun rises on a new day, Leon safely leaves the crumbling castle, and while the Belmonts and Matthias would not meet again for hundreds of years, Matthias has meanwhile hidden foreign lands under the guise of the Lord of the Vampires, King of the Night, and Dracula. Thus, the story of the Belmont clan's struggle against evil begins. Castlevania Lament of Innocence has enjoyed the success of selling over 940,000 copies worldwide.